In this video we will look at how to create a quiz in Moodle 2.0. Because this is a large topic with several steps, we have broken this down into a few videos. Firstly, in your course, make sure you have turned editing on, either by clicking the button in the top right, or clicking turn editing on in the settings block under course administration. Under the Add an Activity drop-down menu in one of the topic boxes down the middle, choose Quiz. Give your quiz a name. Write an introduction for your quiz. This is what students see before they attempt the quiz. You can choose whether your quiz is available at any time or only during a certain time frame. Here you can set the time limit for your quiz. Choose how many attempts students can make on the quiz. If multiple attempts are allowed, you can select which grade is displayed in their gradebook. Highest, average, first or last attempt. Although all attempts are recorded in the quiz results history, only one grade is recorded against the student's name in the gradebook. In the layout section, you choose how the questions are ordered, whether you choose the order of the questions in the quiz or they are shuffled randomly every time a student attempts the quiz. How many pages there will be in your quiz is based on how many questions per page. In the question behaviour section you choose whether the possible answers are shuffled within each question. If adaptive mode is enabled, multiple responses to a question are allowed within the same attempt at the quiz. So, for example, if a response is marked as incorrect, the student will be allowed to try again immediately. However, depending on the apply penalty setting, a penalty will usually be subtracted for each wrong attempt. The amount of penalty is specified in the question settings. This setting only applies if adaptive mode is enabled. If multiple attempts are allowed, and this setting is enabled, each new quiz attempt will contain the results of the previous attempt. This allows a quiz to be completed over several attempts. The review options give you control over what is displayed at certain points after students have completed the quiz. For example, for an exam type quiz, you might want to remove the ticks next to answers. So the students can see their own responses without seeing the actual correct answers when they complete the quiz. If show the user's picture is set to yes, the student's name and picture will be shown on screen during the attempt and on the review screen, making it easier to check that the student is logged in as themselves. This setting only affects the decimal places displayed in the scores or grades, not the scores stored in the database, nor the internal calculations, which are carried out to the full accuracy. This setting determines whether the course blocks are shown while students are taking the quiz. You can set a password for your quiz here, as well as further security settings such as requiring students to sit the quiz from a specific network address, if you only want them to be able to sit the quiz from school, for example. You can also make the quiz show as a full screen pop-up which reduces the student's ability to browse websites while taking the quiz. If a quiz allows multiple attempts, you can set a delay between the first and second attempt, and then a different delay between all attempts from then on. The boxes below this allow you to set feedback for certain grade boundaries. For example, if a student achieves more than 90% in the exam, you may give them a message with a code for unlocking the next quiz or the next part of the course. We can ignore any other settings and click Save and Return to Course. In the next video, we will look at how to add questions to your quiz.